Hey everyone, welcome back to Joy's Fall Collection channel. And a good morning, right here with a nice little cup of coffee. <sighs> Tastes pretty good. Pretty good coffee. Some sort. But anyway guys, welcome back again to Joy's Wild Collection channel for another great episode for you guys today. Uh, this is going to be a review type of series for an FTD release that has come out for quite some time. And um, I was just listening to this box set last night and I was just enjoying it. I mean, the the pure joy. It's it's just gold. Um, as we all can know, this is one particular album that had come out right after when Elvis came back from the military. And the post album that was, of course, that we all know was the Elvis is Back. And this particular set, it's a CD set of four, basically. You had the original album that's on the first disc, along with also the singles that were released during the 1960s and the sessions that were recorded in the studio RCA of Nashville. And basically all the recordings took place sometime, I would say, from March 20th to April 3rd of 1960. Now, there are... I, I believe I, uh, I'm correct on this, but if I'm wrong, you could also correct, them, correct me on this as well. But um, I believe three songs were only recorded on March 20th, and then the rest were recorded on April 3rd. So what songs do we have that were recorded basically on um, March 20th? So basically, we had Make Me Know It. Uh, let's see, It Feels So Right. And then the last but not least, I believe it was also The Soldier Boy. That was recorded um, basically March 20th of 1960 and then all the rest after like Fever, The Girl, My Best Friend, I'll Be Home Again, Dirty Dirty Feeling, Thrill of Your Love, Such a Night, Girl Next Door, When I'm Walking, Like a Baby, Every Consider Baby. Then of course you have the rest on this disc one, it would be the original single sides which would be Stuck On You and The Fame Of Fortune. As we know, that was a very popular single that was released during that time of the, his period. And then you have also It's Now and Never, along with A Mess Of Blues, another fantastic single that I enjoyed thoroughly in both of those songs. I think we all, as Elvis fans, truly appreciate. And, and then, last but not least, we have Are You Lonesome Tonight? And I Gotta Know. I Gotta Know. You know, so why am I making this particular uh, episode for here today for you guys for this review series on this box set? Well, first of all, the original album had a gold issued, uh, basically dedication to him, as well as the album peaked up to I think uh, number two in the pop charts. Elvis is back. Now let's get out the booklets and the photos and all. Basically, most of these photos were taken during a time he was. I think stationed in Germany as well, and it was from a magazine called Bravo. So all these photos that you're seeing here, almost basically like this type right here. This was taken during 1959, as well as quite of these, you know, wonderful photos of Elvis Presley, as you can see. Great, great uh, material, and also wonderful, I would say, production by FTD themselves, as you can see. So basically. There are four discs that are inside this. Basically, this is the first disc that you get the original album along with those three singles. Now, you, you're seeing this disc missing because I believe it's in my radio, so I haven't taken that out yet, so it's still in my radio from last night. Then you have the disc uh, three, and then you have the disc four. So, why do I enjoy these sessions so much? I mean, there's something about it. When you listen to the, the recordings and when he was back, he was anticipating to get the recording started again. And, um, you know, he, won't, he he couldn't wait to be back for his fans to have these new materials out there for them. And they'll be enjoying it as well, which most of all of us have. So here's the original cover, basically. That was an Elvis is Back cover right here. And here's the Stuck on You single, as you can see. It says on a living stereo. But, you know, as overall, that's one of the labels that was made. Now, when we go through over here, we also can open up and then you'll see all the sessions in this booklet. Now, inside is basically the GI Blues, the same kind of uh, format that was in the original Elvis is Back uh, LP, the, the full gate, the, you know, the gatefold. And then we have over here what he says, well, the first thing I have to do is to cut some rec records. Basically, that was in Grace Lake Press of March 7th, 1960, just before he started cutting some awesome, awesome records and tracks that he was doing. It's right there. Wonderful, wonderful 
uh, quote right there by Elvis himself. And then, of course, you got all the thing uh, when he says here, Elvis is home, all the boys at, from the RCA. You could take a look at all the photos right there, wonderful stuff, as you can see. Now, the sound quality is superb. I mean, all the tapes and the masters and everything from these sessions that you listen to. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. If you guys have never ever picked up at least a box set from FTD, which is the uh, label of Follow That Dream, uh, one of their box sets, like this particular, like a session box set, do yourself a favor. I believe they're still out there available for you to buy it. And they're pretty much decent price. I think it's about, if I'm not mistaken, maybe like $55, $60. Yeah, it might seem a little bit expensive for some of you or most of you as well, even considering for myself, but you would not dis be disappointed and you will not regret it as well. So take it from my uh, word and as well my advice because some of the best recordings that I enjoy thoroughly from Elvis is as well from, let's say, from 1960 to 62. I was actually having a little bit of discussion uh, as well um, yesterday, uh, along with uh, Mark, uh, from Mark from Elvis Everyone channel as well. We we're discussing what's our favorite kind of periods and all that. Um, you know, thoroughly, this is one of the kind of the best records that you're gonna find from Elvis from the early, early days. Let's say from the 60s, early 60s, when he came back from the military. Now, my personal favorite as well is from the 60, I would say from 68 and throughout the 72. Those are my favorite eras from Elvis personally as well. Especially the 69 uh, American Sound Studio recordings. That by far for me is one of my top notches favorite. And uh, you guys all know that as well. So let's go with the pictures over here. There's Elvis right here. He's cutting the cake as well. This is the, for the press conference, the photos. Here he is again with uh, Colonel Tom Parker and um, when he got that set, I think that was after when he achieved uh, some kind of gold standards, he got that set right there. And then um, it says right here on the Wednesday, March 23rd, he began shipments to distribute to some retailers. So yeah, the March 20 and April 3rd sessions resulted in the most artistically and commercial commercially successful recordings efforts of Elvis's career. It states it right there, so you can actually see it. So. Uh, if you guys could catch it, if it's focused on the good, yeah, right there. Now you also got some also wonderful photos of Elvis Presley right here. When he was back from, when he came uh, to Graceland and he was back in Graceland right there. So, wonderful, wonderful photos. You got the session data that explains to you all the takes and everything basically. All the recordings that were taken on upon as well as all the original documents. Nicely, nicely reproduction of this done. That's why I'm telling you guys, if you guys haven't picked up any of this sessions, a box set from FTD, just pick up one because there's plenty of them out there. You got Fun Acapulco, you also got Devil in Disguise as well, the Lost Album basically, and so on and so forth. I truly enjoy it. And um, here's another one that says from... I guess uh, from Elvis's press conference, he said, and then after that, I have the television show with Frank Sinatra. That was press conference on March 7th, 1960. As you can see, here he is along with uh, Frank Sinatra when he done the back show. Great show. So, I mean, to be honest with you, you know, it's one of those uh, special moments, especially, you know, when he had a comeback. Yeah, here it is. Here's another great uh, takes as well. So I'm just showing you guys basically all from the book and um, what we have, we basically have all these tracks, let's see, it starts from let's say like disc 2, March Sessions. So basically these are all the March, March se sh uh, blah, Sessions, <laughs> sorry about that, as you can see they were all here taken. Uh, it goes up to also on, uh, let's see, so it goes from this side as you can see this and then it goes all the way up to here, that's all the March sessions and then it starts from april to this so yeah like i said it make me know it soldier boy and as well as you have i guess fame and fortune uh, was also included because that those were the singles along with the mess of blues and then you know the it feels so right and all that great stuff i mean overall what are your opinion guys tell me about it do you guys own at least a box set from ftd like one of these kind of sessions which I thoroughly, thoroughly, uh, let's say, recommend you guys would able to pick up this wonderful uh, session complete uh, with these kind of discs, about three, four discs all together. 
and give me your thoughts leave your comments below i like to hear your thoughts as well and um again i appreciate each and one of you out there that are my viewers and my followers that also my new subscribers as well i thank you and i appreciate each and one of you that are coming and joining my channel because i'll be trying my best and give you guys the best materials out there that i, that I could go on and so forth for you guys so you guys can enjoy your pleasure entertainment and give my best kind of a little bit maybe knowledge and reviews on these type of uh, releases cds new releases that are coming out so on so forth so again guys i really appreciate each and one of you i hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day take care be safe and be well take care